Okay, so this is several days after, um, eh, about two or three days since uh, I made the first video where I found the little corn stalk out in the garden. Now, mind you, this rough looking little thing, it was still in the um, husk, but it was all dried and it has been out through the freeze, through the rain, and through all other winter uh, weather this winter. So I didn't know how viable those seeds would be, but then again, I guess Mother Nature did it without us in the past, so it could definitely do it without us in the future. So you'll see this one's already got three nice roots on it, so those are definitely going to be plantable. Most of them, as a matter of fact, well, that one's even getting one. So almost all of them already have roots now, and they're doing quite well. Sorry, didn't realize it got all fuzzy. So I'll keep you posted. Um, I'll probably put them in some little um, planting pods in a couple of days, and I'll keep you posted as to how they do in the garden. I was doing some seed inventory yesterday, and I took a bunch of our seed, well, all of our seeds out of the freezer, the ones that I had had frozen, that are like from 2009 up till 2012, and I took random samplings of, well, not random, of, of different things, but the corn. This is a batch of corn from 2010 that was in the freezer. And since Ronnie wanted to go ahead and plant some corn in his beds this year, too, I told him that I would sprout from those, and if not, then I would start some others. Well, I put these in yesterday, and you'll see some of them. It's hard to see at the very moment, but you'll see, like, right here, they're actually already starting to sprout a little tail on some of them. Yeah, like, here we go. I guess you could see that on this one. I'm going to break it. Yeah. And then also, since he's doing green beans, I told him we would go ahead and we would start some green beans for him too. It'll just make it easier. They'll be a little more viable. They'll get to a size that'll, sorry about the camera shaking. Um, they'll be more viable and less of a size that the um, pill bugs will be interested in. So this is, um, we've got some butter beans in here, some um, Kentucky pole beans and then our beans and we never were quite sure what the name of our beans were because actually somebody had just dropped them off one time with us and said that he thought they would grow really good in our yard but they were organic it was an elderly man that that we never did find out who he was I wasn't here um, so anyway I grew them the one year and we have been growing them ever since and saving seeds from them they are just wonderful. They produce so much and they grow so well in the heat here in Texas. So, um, I've been calling them yard longs because they're green and they get really long. But anyway, so this is day one of, or I guess you could say, it's actually been a half a day since I put them in yesterday afternoon. This afternoon it'll make it a, a full day. So. We'll just continue to watch it, and I'll take you along until the day we get ready to plant them. Okay, so we are two and a half days into the seed sprouting, and as you can see, the yard longs that I call them, whatever they are, are getting some really nice tails already. And a couple of the others, these are the, this is the Kentucky pole bean getting some nice tails. The butter beans, none of them have tails yet, but they'll take a little longer. And uh, on the corn, the second set of corn, several of the corn have some nice tails already too. So we're two and a half days in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the peas and the corn outside the progress that we've made on how, or not we, they <laughs> have come along. So Again, just another idea, seed viability kind of gets them a good start, and then you can get them in the ground. All so. right, here's the latest update on the corn. This is day four, and if you can see, all but two of them actually got uh, roots, and now they are already sprouting little green sprouts so 
They'll be ready to plant in a day or two. And we know already which ones are viable. Only three of them did not sprout. So, and now for the beans. None of the baby, uh, not baby beans, butter beans, none of the butter beans sprouted. But, um, and we had several of the yard longs that didn't sprout either. But almost all of the Kentucky Pole sprouted and quite a few of the yard longs. But, like I said, none of the butter beans did. Not sure why. Other than, I guess, they're, oh, wait, I take that back. Oh, no, that wasn't a butter bean. Sorry. Okay, so day four, progress. Okay, we're on day three, and this is what the corn sprouts look like. I just rinsed them, and they're finishing draining off. And almost every one of them has a tail now, if you'll see. There is one or two, one, two, three that I count so far that still have not sprouted, but they probably still will. And if not, that's still a pretty good, well, four of them, okay? That's still a pretty good count on the corn because, like I said, this is um, from our own, own corn and some of this could have been from the piece that had been laying out for the winter. All right, let's see how the beans are doing on the bottom portion here. Sorry. And there we go. And none of the, um, well, the, I was going to say lima beans, um, butter beans have sprouted yet. Now, they could just take a while, but a lot of the yard longs have sprouted, and several of the Kentucky pole beans have already sprouted. So that's all a good sign. We'll see. Keep an eye on it. So this, again, is day three. And they're getting these nice tails on them, and then they'll start growing some roots, and then they'll start getting the top on them, and then we'll go ahead and plant them in some dirt. Okay, day five of the corn, and it will definitely need to go in the ground this weekend because now it not only has nice little roots, it actually has corn sprouting out of the tops of each one of them. They're getting too long to contain, if you see inside the little dish here. It's grown out of it, so um, was trying to hold off for the weekend, and uh, we'll get them in the ground. And let's see how those beans are doing underneath. And there's the beans, and the tray is draining. So they're doing pretty good. Pretty much the same status as the other day. No extra ones have sprouted that I've noticed. One or two look like they might be getting ready to, um, but I think the ones that haven't done anything yet will not be doing anything. So not quite as much success with the beans this time, but lots of success with the corn. And we'll just try another set of beans, and we'll know that those beans in those packs are probably not the best to be holding on to for future use. All right, so here's the outside update on the corn. We just put some green beans in with them, and then we'll put a squash in between. And these are the boxes that Ronnie made that are kind of like the square foot gardening technique. So we're trying that again. I don't, I'm not really going by it 100%, but he's gonna do 100% by the directions this year. So we'll let you know how it goes. Um, we've been, I've been kind of using these boxes for other things, but he actually built them for the square foot gardening. You can see he's got the little dividers on them. But I've got, um, it says that you can put up to four corn in each of the one foot squares, I put um, two corn and two beans. So we'll see, some of them have one corn and one bean. I will see which one does better. And then I guess you leave like some blanks in between. But anyway, so there'll be some squash in here, but basically I wanted to show you how well that sprouted corn is doing. And these are the sprouted, some of the sprouted beans from earlier. And this box is still empty, but there's some more of the corn. So it's doing really well, 